Okay, we're looking at Fleur de Lis imported Napoleon French brandy. <laughs> Product of France. All right, imported by uh, Old World Imports Company, Cleveland, Ohio. 80 proof, VVSOP. Very, very special old pail. Um, there's a Chateau Gate. I don't know where this is a gate or what this is a gate for. There's a fleur de lis on it, two lions, and some other things. Um, imported French brandy, that's all I know. One liter. It was $12.99 for this one liter. I bought it. <laughs> I bought it at Dornax. Uh I think it's saying three fifty five twelve. Uh there's a code, but I don't know what it's gonna mean. Okay. I was looking at the Cognacs, which is a brandy made in Cognac, France. They they had a Saint Remy, whatever it was called. This thing is three thousand dollars for a bottle half this size. I bet you it's better than this. Um, three thousand dollars. That's a good grief. And then they had some special, some other special brandy, uh, Cognac brandies that were very expensive hundred dollars two hundred dollars <clears throat> and they had uh, on the sh those were locked in a case on the shelf they had um, a whole bunch of brandies I'd never heard of they had the typical ones Paul Masson the uh, E and J um, glass <laughs> E and J um, Christian Brothers those were all about ten ninety nine to eleven ninety nine for a seven hundred fifty milliliter. This is a one liter. Uh, I guess the uh, Saint Remy wasn't half the size. It was uh, seven fifty, not five hundred. Okay, uh, but anyway, I noticed at Walmart they had the. Uh, E and J V S very smooth. That was uh, a special 1049. And then the Paul Masson they had that one they had that amber one that they tout and then they had a dollar fifty rebate if you mailed it in. So it'd be like nine dollars. Okay, anyway. Um, well I've had E and J brandy once and I was like close to 20 years ago and it was the same color as this that kind of uh, uh, whatever color that is burnish gold clear this is a cognac glass okay um don't have a snifter, brandy snifter. Now, if this was from the cognac region of France, it would be called cognac, but it's probably from Paris, so it's brandy. It's the same thing. Okay, uh. <clears throat> no, it doesn't smell bad. It's a <clears throat> strong spirit. It's, uh. Now, the light is no good because the sun went behind those very high trees back there. It's about 6.20 p.m. daylight time. Um, it's kind of a... You might think it's whiskey, but that's not made with grapes. This is... It's just like a, a distilled... Product and uh, now that the E and J has extensive descriptions 
of all their uh, brandies and they have all the ingredients of different grape varietals. So that's I'm gonna try to get into those. And then I was looking at the, all the the sherries and I'm like, huh, okay, I, this like it's an unreal at Dornax. I mean, I would have to buy sherries and brandies all the time, drink them all the time, just to get a little t toe in the pool. It's a little nutty, like almond and some very strong <coughs> fruit. Doesn't smell cheap or bad or anything. I don't know. Dornex will run very strange, spe strange specials, and they have. I never saw this anywhere else in any store, okay, ever. There's nothing online. Like I say, you can't even find a photo on a website photo search nothing about the import or anything <clears throat> it's similar to the oh and they were given samples of this Jack Daniels uh, no, Jack Daniels Crown Royal it's like a special reserve that was produced only for Dornex store. Dornex one grocery store in the very near outskirts of New Orleans. It's about one mile west of the city limits of New Orleans. Probably less than a mile. Okay, half a mile. Um, I tried it and it was very good. I said, whoa, this is smooth and fiery and fabulous. Um, this is pretty smooth. Now, is it really a very, very special old pail? I don't know how old it is. I don't know how long it's been aged. It's pretty smooth. It does have a little bite to it. It's fiery, though. It's like... It's almost like a reverse volcano effect. It's down, and then it explodes here in the belly. So it's warming, <laughs> to say the least. Um, It's, it's, um, a little woody. Doesn't taste as though they've added any flavoring or any such thing to it. It just, it just tastes like straight brandy. I'm serving it neat. I usually tell people, that's, you know, I want it neat. That's why I want it. Yeah. It's um, interesting. I would recommend it. I don't know if you'll ever see it. You may, if you live in that, you know, Cleveland area, you might see it. But then, you know, some things will come into a place, or it's just the the office is there, but the beverages might come in in New York City or New Orleans. Uh, the offices for um, the big spirits company is in Metairie, Louisiana, where Dornex is, you know, in the same area by the lake. You know, the big company, they own um, Taka, um, uh, lots of uh, wines and whiskeys. Uh, Pappy Van Winkle, they own all that. They're in New Orleans. So, uh, oh, the Sazerac Company. But all their stuff is distilled up there in Kentucky. Just the headquarters are there. Okay, well, this is something else. I can't say it's world class, but then again, I've never had a world class brandy. I don't think they were going to give me a sample of that San Remy $3,000 bottle. So, thank you for watching this video production.